Hello, this is AI in Agriculture, one idea a day. And today we will speak about leafy greens. And uh, it's not just about leafy greens as the crop, not the crop, but the crops, because obviously it includes more than just lettuce, which I have in my mind. But uh, I demonstrate how it can be applicable for specifically leafy greens and specifically lettuce. So this is my slide for today. You know, another idea uh, to call this series, not just one idea a day, but one slide a day. Obviously, sometimes I go further and have more slides, but most of the cases I try to fix your attention and fix your ideas to just one slide. So uh, what is the case here and what is the, the problem is about the assessment of greenness of leafy greens and uh, specifically when we speak about the routine tasks when you are the producer of leafy greens and you need to have this standardized, standardized procedure SOP standard operational procedure and then you need to understand which tools you will use for providing the same consistent and accurate result for assessing greenness. And obviously there is a place for SPAD, but the challenge with SPAD is the price and scalability. You cannot use many SPADs simultaneously with the same success because it's just too expensive for most of the... I don't... Yeah, maybe if you are a huge grower and you have lots of good budget for purchasing these tools, then you maybe can afford. But most of the smallholder farmers who are working with leafy greens, it's quite expensive for them to get this tool. And that's why uh, DGCI, Dark Green Color Index, is one of the alternatives. So I don't say that it's one of the, like the top solution. It's just one of the ways how you can get the greenness understand the, the greenness of your produce and uh, basically the, uh, the this specific farm because of this imagery it's taken from the farm which are growing uh, leafy greens they are doing it on three time per week basis so they have used the thursday and the saturday as the assessment days when the employee goes collects uh, a few samples and then he stands, he does the setup and he measures the greenness using uh, PTL Pro. And the challenge for them is solved because at least they have consistent numbers. And if something is going down, like the index is decreasing, it means, and you know, it's still the decrease is on that level when you still cannot see this in your eyes because it's still like green. That's why this is the main painkiller for them because uh, obviously they want to provide some good quality produce, fresh produce for their clients, for their customers. And this is how PTL Pro helps. But let's just look at this imagery. So on the left hand side, you can see the setup one of the ways how setup may look like actually because uh, we understand that the light conditions are different the overall circumstances are different but it's one of the ways how it may look like the top view it's specifically from the working area then we have this nice uh, imagery to demonstrate that they are not measuring actually whole leaf Sometimes they're just cutting it and it's enough for them to understand the consistency of uh, growing and uh, the production, uh, how it stays within the same um, level. Yes, and also, uh, yeah, in, in this case, when they are cutting, they have a specific procedure for cut, so they are cutting like on specific level, but still they are measuring leaf area and they are measuring greenness for their needs. And I hope it's helpful for you as well. This can be applicable for other crops, but we will speak about that on the other day. Thank you.